I want to welcome you, the public and members of the media, as we uh, bring you update number three on the response to the sewage problems we've been seeing on the south coast. Of course, the Barbados Water Authority has been facing an uphill battle in addressing this situation. To speak about what has been happening on the ground over the last 24 to 48 hours, we have the General Manager of the Barbados Water Authority, Keith Roy Halliday. Since uh, last week, Thursday or Friday, following um, some of the guidance and reaffirmation made by folks from or, or, or consultants from Trinidad, we were able to effectively install the first stage of a bypass over the last several days. However, we have had significant challenges, and part of the update today is really to speak to those challenges. The first stage of the bypass really dealt with um, the bypass with respect to the influent line, which really sought to move the influent or the inflow coming in around the troubled area that we have in Worthing. And for that reason, you'll have seen a flurry of activity between uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Wednesday night. All folks have been working assiduously around the clock. Uh, we were really hopeful and optimistic that we would have been able to put at least a minimum solution in place for the Christmas and all hands were in deck, as I said, in that regard. We successfully got the pumps in, we successfully got the, the, the pumps installed and set up at the appropriate points. Uh, and Pat Patricia can give you more details on that in due course. And Saturday, or throughout most of the course of Saturday, we saw those levels dropping appreciably. However, by evening, our pumps started to fail. They started to shut down. And it involved uh, a serious investigation, which in essence revealed that the amount of debris, and particularly the amount of rags that are in the system, will, uh, and that has plagued this system for the last several years, and particularly this year, is still a nuisance factor and a hindrance to our ability to overcome the challenges in front of us. It has gotten so bad that we have started to derag not only once a day, but several times a day, trying to clear the debris from the baskets, from the, the strainers, from the pumps that are immersed, trying to pull the, 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 the influent into the system, uh, into the plant. Our largest pump has been so compromised that it is no longer working. And today, by way of this update, we're really appealing seriously to all, re not necessarily residents, because the kind of material we're seeing, we don't believe it's necessarily attributed to residents, but certainly to perhaps some of the larger commercial houses, be they um, hotels, be they um, large guest houses, or whatever the case may be, we're not going to identify anyone specifically at this point, because we, we don't know exactly who are the main contributors, but it is clear from the material what sort of material we're getting into our sanit on, onto our lines. There are a number of steps that we have also looked at that means that necessitate additional activity and additional support. We have escalated those to the ministries, that are the various stakeholder ministries. We have to have that support beyond this level. And in the bigger and wider context, it is clear that we have a plant that must be replaced. It is clear that this plant must be upgraded. It is clear that we need to go from the primary um, level plant to a tertiary level plant. Our force main line is significantly compromised. It seems to be crumbling. What this means is that the effluent that is going out, that is going to go out to the, to, to the sea, a mile and a half out to the various diffusers, it, can, it is not working the way it should. We are having recirculation, or regurgitation if you want to, of some of that effluent coming back into an effluent line and overwhelming or overloading our plant. And what is contributing significant to that is the amount of rags, the amount of de debris that is in our plants. Added to that, we still have a copious amount of drain water, or rather storm water, that is coming in. And any and everything that people are disposing of into the sewage. You cannot just dispose of anything into the sewer with the thinking or behavior that once it is not at yours, all is fine and good. It has to stop. And you can continue to watch Water Wednesdays for the latest on how the Barbados Water Authority is responding to the sewage situation on the South Coast. Remember, you can go to www.barbadoswaterauthority.com to get another look at this episode again. Or you have the option of going to YouTube and typing in Water Wednesdays. It's